top of the line called the P post. They came up with catalog and every post is numbered and lettered. But mm -hmm. anyway, this is the Prime Minister of Europe has one of these. Uh, John Riggins has one of these, an NFL superstar. Uh, this is our most famous one right here. This kind of has, it's kind of, it's got a gothic look to it. It's kind of designed over, or designed in the, uh, the way the cathedrals are, see how the columns are. Anyway, it's got a lot of, got about 95 hours of carving in each post. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of handwork there. The challenge is uh, finding, find, actually finding good mahogany. I'm working with a company out of Gulfport, Mississippi. They're working at a club right now on some, uh, some mahogany. Mm. Well, who taught you how to do this, and how long have you been doing it? My, uh, my grandfather, Robert Reed, who actually started it, you know, we, li we lived next door to my grandparents growing up, so I was always kicking around with him, and, uh, you know, sit and watch him for hours. I mean, that was, a, that was the thing he would want me to do, is just to watch him. You know, I'd, I'd do all the manual labor before him, moving things around, but, you know, just turning the freehand on the lathe, he would sit there and just... And encouraged me just to watch him because you just learn a lot just you know from watching and uh, I did I learned more than I ever thought I would just from watching because I'm back here on these machines and it just comes right back to me it's like this a natural technique you know it just feels natural all the different techniques of turning but he taught me and my dad you know I learned a lot from him he's a perfectionist on uh, a lot of different things I mean, he was just wonderful at making rails bed rails our bed rails are two inches thick by five inches. It just seems a simple square piece of wood, but you got to know how to get the two inches out of the stock lumber that we have without making it too thin and making it, you got to make it good and square so it'll look good, you know. But uh, my dad and my grandfather, they, they taught me everything I know. So mm -hmm. I, I cherish it. Not not many people have a, not many people work, especially in America, man. We, we don't work much with our hands anymore. We ship it overseas and get it done cheaper. We take a lot of pride in the hard work that we put in each bed. Uh, it's, work, it's pretty much a work of art that you get, and it's just constant praises we get from customers, you know, that you know, pass down from generation to generation. I, I talked to a lady out in, uh, or a lady in Dallas, Texas, ordered a bed for me the other, the other day. And while I was talking to her on the phone, she actually told me she was sitting in a bed that she has of ours that she bought 60 years ago. And, uh, she just wanted to buy another one for her son, so I'm making, making her son this bed. We call it our cannonball bed. Mm. It goes back to the design of, uh, you know, Maxwell House Coffee. It's a Maxwell House Coffee family. The Maxwell House, I don't know where it is. I need to do my homework on it, but it goes back to their house at the time. Big leap of faith. I never in my Never in my life have I ever lived on faith like I am right now. Suddenly, it's pretty amazing to watch the Lord's work. You know, miracles every day. Just like, you know, we're in, uh, you probably heard, you know, we were in traditional home. We were in uh, traditional home page 82. The June, or excuse me, the July, August issue. Didn't even know about it until uh, uh, an interior decorator called out of New Jersey. Got some information on our beds. And I was like, are you talking about Issue with he said, Yes, yeah, July, July, August issue, like page 82. You got a whole spread. Sure enough, you opened up and there's two full pages with our bed on it right there. They didn't even know about it. But I called and talked to the editor. Our phone number was actually in the catalog and everything. So, or the magazine. I've already got several calls all over. You know, Tesla, Maryland, New Jersey, Philadelphia.